All right, let's move down to MVP. And I'm on the bandwagon now. Ah. I, look, see, DeMarcus, I was about to give you your flowers for being early, but then you had to start making noises over there in the back. My predictions are always right. You know this. That is, that is actively not true. Uh, Anyways, but, go ahead and give look, me my flowers. Look, I'm going to give you your flowers. Nikola Jokic, far and away the MVP, should be the MVP, and we know it. And what I really want to talk about here is why does the media hate Nikola Jokic and the Nuggets so much? He's boring. Uh, is he? To the media? I, I, it actively bothers me that there's been this massive push for CP3 to be an MVP or MVP candidate, particularly just because he is not an any way comparable to what Jokic is doing because he's not anywhere comparable to what Jokic is doing. It's Jokic better score right now, better rebounder is not, I won't say he's a better assister than Chris Paul, but he is way closer in assist than he is than Chris Paul is to him in scoring. He's the number one option on his team undeniably. And are you sure that Chris Paul is the number one option on the Suns? Um, I'm not going to fight you on this. Anyone who listens to the podcast knows I've been on the yoke train for a long, long time. Oh, man. My favorite comment was Yokamania. <laughs> <laughs> now, that being said, I think the kind of answer your question, the media thinks he's boring. Fans think he's boring. I see more images of Yoke as a chubby teenager <laughs> than an NBA player on my, on my feed on Facebook and on Twitter. Tell me I'm wrong. Where's the lie? Uh, people don't think the boring European center to them should be the MVP of the league. I think people will be sorely mistaken uh, about his deservedness of the award. I think it's clear that he does. I think Dirk has shown us that European players can be the the best player in the league. I think Luka will show us that they can be the best players in the league, and Jokic is doing it right now. Um. And so I think that's the reason why I think all the other narratives are more sexy. They're more appealing. They're for stars that are in bigger markets. Yada, 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 yada. We know that the media, especially the NBA, does some manipulation when it comes to storylines at the start of the season. And Jokic was not the storyline guy at the start of the season. It was a CP3. It was a LeBron. It was an Embiid. Guys, they want to win it. And he, he had dealt with injuries all season, kept his team afloat, and then he lost his number two, and they did better. Yes. It's just insane. It is insane. Clearly, clearly the MVP of the league, and I'm very happy for him. Okay. 